I'm Sharon Metz and welcome to Council Update. Today we're going to talk about a small area study on Harkness Avenue. Joining me is Council Member Steve Dennis. Welcome, Council Member. Well, thank you. Uh, so at last night's Council meeting, the Harkness Avenue small area study that, which is a comp plan amendment was discussed by the council. It was, and it was, was acted on, and we had a chance to hear from members of our community. And, mm -hmm. uh, and after, you know, taking everything into consideration as a council, um, we did vote four to one to approve that. Yes. So to give a little bit of background information um, for folks, the uh, city commissioned this small area study in an effort to be prepared for future housing needs in our community. The area itself encompasses a 55-acre piece of land uh, between Harkness Avenue uh, over next to the Hidden Valley Park and the new villas of Hidden Valley, which is a project behind Coles. Now the purpose of rezoning this land would be to offer higher density housing options that would include everything from market rate apartments mm -hmm. uh, and both twin and town homes. And those are both categories that we need a little bit more diversity and application in our community. And it's something that we have heard from community members on. Exactly. And, the and desire for from, from surveys and from people in general. So there's a lot yes. of interest in seeing that. So as things currently set, um, there are no plans to develop that Harkness Avenue corridor unless the current residents in the area decide to sell their land. Correct. And at that point in time, the plan would be implemented, but only if it was sold to a developer that had an intent on developing the okay. land in that fashion. So if people want to stay there on the property um, and live there for the next 10, 20, 30 years or whatever, mm -hmm. um, the city is not in any way uh, making an overture to get them to change. Correct. This would just give people a, a secondary option should they look for that opportunity. Sure. So a small area study is when a city takes a focused look at land use opportunities for a specific area. Okay. Now what we analyze is the land, the existing development, uh, the surrounding areas, mm -hmm. also opportunities and constraints, and then also looking at uh, developed land use alternatives. Sure. So within the study, there are actually three different things that are identified. Number one is to determine if the existing roads and utilities can accommodate the additional development density. Second is to provide several concept designs that would act as examples of how the area could be developed over time. And then lastly is to complete several land use arrangements that could be incorporated into what we are working on right now, which is our 2040 comp plan. Correct. Now that'll, that'll help us to guide uh, the land use as we go forward. Right. So uh, coming out of the results of last night's meeting, um, the council selected phase one, uh, which was traffic and utility analysis. So it was performed by Stantec, Correct. who is one of the mm -hmm. um, companies that we work to help us when it comes to engineering me uh, measures. So the study um, was indicating that the area can accomplish uh, and accommodate increased density. So that was number one. Okay. And then the concept plans that were drafted reflect the fact that a variety of housing options could be constructed in the area. Okay. And again, now that will help us to meet the needs of our community to provide housing for all types of generations, young folks, right. mid-level, and our older folks too, which is something we'd like to do to be full service and full spectrum. Correct. Now, any tree loss that would occur in the development would be mitigated through the city's tree preservation ordinance. And I can tell you from looking at the plans that are, you know, and, and, and these are just ideas. Nothing is written in stone. Correct. But it would be the desire of the city to work with a, a potential developer to ensure that the buildings are aligned in such a way to keep as many of the trees as possible so that we can maintain not only an appropriate buffer, but also the beauty of the area okay. itself. The uh, Harkness Avenue Small Area Study Comprehensive Plan Amendment will be prepared as a supporting document that will enter into the 2040 comp Comprehensive Plan and the distribution of the amendment to adjacent communities and the Metropolitan Council. Okay. So it's, it's an in-depth process. Um, again, I want to focus on the fact that we're not putting anybody off their land. There's no potential for eminent domain or any use like that. This would be a free will decision of the property owners as to whether or not they wanted to sell. Correct. Yep. Okay, for more information about the small area study, please contact the city's senior planner, John Burbank. Thank you, Council Member Dennis. Thank you.